Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're out here in another sublot in Florida. I've never actually been to this yard. This is all heavy. It's nothing but campers and big old vehicles. So we got behind ourselves a 2019 fifth wheel camper right here. That's a pure sale certificate of destruction, meaning you can't title it, can't put it on the road, but hey, you could park this by your lake and boom, you got yourself a nice little lake house or whatever, you know, whatever you kind of want to do. So it's nice to have, let's check it out. It's also salvaged out of water damage. Let's see how bad the water is and maybe play on it. It's playing tomorrow, so let's check it out. It's a mini plus, kind of cool. You can see some damage right away from the feet, but no big deal. This is just a steel tubing, so they actually replace, come out, come in. It's not actually the end of the world at all. Pretty easy to replace. Nothing we're afraid of, but it's surprisingly you could see stuff already cracking, kind of getting sun baked. Maybe it was parked in the sun for a while. 2019, pretty new, but campers, they just, you know, they don't hold up that long. It's crazy. Pretty nice compartments, I would say. All right, so over here you can have all the electricals and stuff, all the electronics going on. Pretty sweet. Check out that battery, beautiful. I don't see any corrosion on the wires. No smell. This is nice. Battery disconnect. Got the leveling system right there. That's the main slide unit. All this looks really good. I don't see any sign of water damage so far, and this is pretty low pouring of it, so good news. I'm excited, let's keep going. I want to take it home. <clears throat> it's the main plug for it. You got a nice big old 50 amp. Yep, probably got two AC units, big old water tank heater. Nice big slide out. I mean, 2019, still not that bad. Bunch of bumper stickers, they, you know, they've been traveling. A little corner, corner damage right there. Okay, not too bad. That'll buff out. <laughs> Locked, 27 footer, and this side's pretty low again, so let's see. I love the magnets, you know, because these doors are always slamming down, hitting your face, so that's nice. It looks like it's already been resealed. Somebody's been taking care of it, because you have to. Uh, 2019, you have to go through it all again, make sure everything's, you know, touched up. There's our power cord, water cord. Like I said, those are expensive. That's like $300, <laughs> pretty insane. But yeah, it looks great in here, guys. The more I look at it, the more I want it. Ah. Dual propane tanks, and they're still there. Wow, that is nice. Usually, they're the first to go. That and the battery and the TVs. Oh no, she's locked. What the? Oh, maybe we could open up some doors and see if we could find the keys, but can't see the inside. The inside that matters, you know? What are you supposed to do? Dang, guys, so it's pretty crazy how it's locked. We went through all the cabinets. We did not find the keys, but it's so weird because in the Copart pictures, the door is open. There's pictures inside. The slide outs are extended. So I think somebody came, checked it out, and it was really nice, and go ahead and locked the door on us. Dang, that sucks. But I think it's really nice. Overall, underneath, all around, the cabinets are really good. So I'm sure the inside is just fine. We're gonna write it down and play on it anyways. Either way, we'll bid them up. Whoever thinks they can lock us out. Oh, this trick in the book, you know, take the keys with you. Ah. It's all good guys, moving right along. Can't get in that one, but next we have a 2019 Light by Open Range. Also really nice campers playing tomorrow, so let's check it out. Hopefully we'll be able to see this one inside the outside. I mean, it's 2019, but still kind of getting baked, getting faded. I mean, that's just the normal single stage paint job that most campers have. I see some damage in the front, also salvaged out to water damage, but those things, they break all the time, those little jacks, no big deal. 
just really want to make sure it's open. Yeah, same thing, different camper, same story. But we'll just check online, make sure. So I was able to look it up on Copart. I don't know if you guys see that or not. You can't really see it. Dang, but I don't actually see pictures inside. So Copart never actually went inside this one. So I don't think it's like somebody trying to save it for themselves. This one's legit, no keys, NA, don't know what's going on. And these windows are so tinted, it's hard to say what is going on on there. What a surprise. This is like a mystery box, literally. You could spend thousands of dollars and find nothing in there or find some you know, safes and treasure boxes. Yeah, I doubt it, but you never know. It's exciting. It's like Storage Wars. You open it up and see what's inside. I think it's a wall. Dude, I can't see nothing. Straight nothing. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So all we can do is just look around and take an educated guess. Maybe some of the compartments will be open because the other one, I didn't see any water damage inside. Give it a shot. Yeah, check it out. Nothing. All of these things are locked. I didn't see any more compartments on this side. So we got two slide outs. Electric leveling. It's nice. Oh, I think it's a light switch actually. This was a 30 amp. Solar charging. Man. Huh? That is so unfortunate. Wow, she is locked locked. Like this person is the one playing games. Nothing guys, definitely looks nice from this side. Hi. Top looks really good I would say. Very clean. Man. Just gotta find some keys though. <sighs> okay. So here's another light camper. And same brand, same everything. We got some keys, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll try it out. Dun, dun, dun. Fits right in, but it doesn't churn. Dang, that sucks. So definitely same manufacturer, same key size, style, but just not the right keys. What a bummer. <laughs> so you can't get bummed out, you gotta keep moving along. Like I said, there's thousands of campers. Next on our list is a 2022 Transcend. This is more of a higher scale camper, I would say. I mean, I like the color scheme on it, looking good. Check it out, 2022. Just the front looks so clean, I would say. Very nice, nothing's worn out. What, what? Still got our tanks. It's always a good win. This looks really clean. I just hope it's open. That'd be great. Oh wow, looks like uh, somebody really wanted to get in. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so we got one that actually opens. That's that's good. Ah, oh, no, but I smell it. Wow, that sucks, guys. Very unfortunate. Ooh, don't even need to get that don't close. even don't even need to get that close. Yeah, that's. Wow, that is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Just gonna go ahead and close that one up. And that's what could be on the other campers. You never know. It looks fine on the outside. Looks great. And then you open the door and you get hit in the face. Wow, that sucks, but let's keep shopping. Okay, so before we move on, I just want to show you the pictures. Everything looks great on it. You know, it's like, oh, what a steel deal. Even the inside looks clean. But wow, what a difference night and day in person. It definitely hits you like a wave. That thing is flooded out. So unfortunate. But hey, plenty of fish in the sea. Let's keep going. All right, guys, so I'm just checking out this mini Winnie right here. Also flooded to the door. But unfortunately, it's pretty bad looking. It looks bad in pictures, but it's nice just to come in person and check it out, but they ain't lying. You got mold, you got residue, you got corrosion going on. They put a lot of baking soda on there. Kind of helps the smell. It doesn't look bad, but 
we checked out the wires and there's a lot of corrosion. A lot of wires are already getting that oxidation with the salt water corrosion stuff, so no power to it. See, bad. Definitely be hard to get home. It's gonna be a lot of work. Not something we're looking for. We're looking for those that aren't really flooded, just flooded titles. All right, guys, man, had so many campers. You can be here all day checking it out. I mean, you got stuff that's destroyed, to stuff that's flooded. I mean, this thing's still pretty crazy. You got tile floor. Check out all these batteries. How many batteries do you need, people? That's crazy. You got your house batteries, you got your regular chassis batteries and powertrain batteries and all sorts of batteries. <laughs> But I'm kind of tired, definitely need to take a break from my nose, smell all these flooded cars. It's exhausting. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Like I said, we are picking something up. We're not leaving home empty-handed. We'll come back to South Carolina with something, hopefully soon. But leave some comments what's your favorite. I think we found some good ones. We found some locked ones. We found some bad ones, you know? Some stuff you open right away, looks good in pictures, and it's like, whew, that flooded wave hits your face. So a lot of stuff. It's good to do your leg work. You guys are saying, hey, it's hard doing Copar walk rides. Hey, we, we, sometimes you have to. To find good deals, you got to be out there and find the good deals. You get lucky sometimes, but it's a risk. Sometimes we do risk it. Sometimes you have to, but thanks guys for all your feedback. Thanks for your support. Can't do it without you. Catch you next time.